Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is you are. Hi guys! So today I want to share with you guys some products that I have gotten in PR as gifts. And I wanted to share with you guys on camera how to make them work what they work. Some of them are first impressions I've never tried. I did most of my face of things that I did not have on hand that are new just so I can save myself time and be able to share with you guys some of the things. I just did a haul on Sydney Gray so if you have not seen that I would suggest you check that out because some of the products I will be using today. So I know some of you guys were curious and interested in certain products that I did get from there and there's one thing that I will share with you guys today that I will use on camera that I actually purchased with my own money that I wanted to play around with. So if you're interested in just a chill testing new products out, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, you guys, all of my kids are sleeping right now. I woke up extra early to do this video for you guys um, because it's been so busy lately. So <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to start out with the first few products is obviously what's on thy nail. So I was sent some press on nails from Vanity Bay. This is the packaging that I am currently using right now. I posted it on my Instagram and you guys chose this style to wear today or at least for the video. I have been wearing these now for quite a bit so I will explain you guys. I got quite a few of their nail styles. I know some of these look very similar but I chose these myself. I personally like to choose the short nails for brands that I am not um, sure how the nails will fit and I'll explain you guys why in a second. But these um, come with 24 nails which is perfect because we all know that some nails don't fit the same on both hands. So you need like a different size for each of your hands. I know like my middle finger on my right hand is a little bit more used than my left middle finger. So I have to like pick a bigger nail. It does come with an alcohol swab, little stickers, which my daughter loves these because she says these last longer. It does come with a little nail glue, but I bring my own. And this is what this set looked like. Um, this is the longest nail set that I got. All the rest are shorter than this. So I wanted to try at least a mid-size and then the rest do it more short. And then it comes with obviously the little stick, which this is, comes in handy. And a mini nail file, which I love to keep in my car. Because even when I don't have press-on nails, I have children that break nails in the car that need a little bit of filing. So I got a few sets of these. Um, so far, they've been really good. I have no complaints. The only downside and this is more of like a me thing i have very large nail beds i don't have your typical standard nail bed and my thumbs always have a problem and this is why i end up getting the short version because i feel like they don't pop off as often this style my thumbs have popped off a good seven times already and i haven't had these now for a week yet so but that's a me thing my thumbs are very big and i really have to press down like this morning i had to put them back on again both of my thumbs because it just keeps popping off but that's a me thing so if you have larger nail beds keep that in mind if you are going to shop around with this brand um to maybe go with the shorter version because i feel like the short nails tend to be a little bit easier for my thumbs to stay put. The longer the nail, the harder it is for it to stay on my thumb. So that's a little trick that I've come across when I have picked um, some press on nails and there are brands that are perfect for my thumb. So I already have chosen which brands there are. This one, I'm gonna try the shorter version and let you guys know in the future how they work with these. But I know that this size, these keep popping off, but that's like a me thing. So far, I really like them. They are staying put. They look nice, I actually like, and they're not that long. For this size, they're not that long. So I, I'm not paid to talk about them at all. I don't have any affiliate code or anything. So if you are interested, I'll link them down below. They have different variety, different styles, different sizes, you name it. Um, and they do have an Instagram. So if you're interested to see other um, nail designs on other people, you can see them on there. I also wanna give a shout out to Game Beauty. You guys know I love Game Beauty and they sent out their new sets of brushes and look at these, you guys. These are perfect for somebody who has very hooded eyelids, very small amount of space. For me specifically, since I do have a large lid space, these are more for detail than they are for me to help out. But I do love these. This one I can tell is gonna be one of my favorites for detail. Like look how tiny that is. This is gonna be so perfect, especially for the lower lash line. Love these. So these are their new eye brushes. I have yet to use them, 
but I do have the first set of eye brushes and I use them constantly. There is one that's very tiny that I love for inner corner or lower lash line, but I feel like these, like this pencil one right here is just gonna be perfection. So I wanted to share these for you guys. Again, I'm not paid to say anything. I do have an affiliate code with Game Beauty, I believe. I will link it down in the description box if you're interested. For those that have purchased through my link, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. These brushes, and the one thing that I will say about these brushes is they have like these little divots on them that makes it so much easier to hold your brush. Or your, yeah, like, see how my thumb and my, it's like so much easier, it rests so much easier. I love that indentation, that detail that they have on their brushes because it just makes it so easy to hold the brush and you know exactly where to hold it to have the perfect amount of pressure on your eye. So that's one specific thing that Game Beauty does. I don't see many eye brushes that I, I actually own that have that. That's something unique. So Game Beauty, thank you so much. I am excited to use these. Okay, you guys. So let's get into the products that I want to share with you guys. I did purchase these Sydney Grace products and I told you guys I wanted to try these out. So we're going to try these out today. As I mentioned, I have the majority of my face on. I wanted to specifically try these over powder. My thing is I'm going to use these over powder. So why not share with you guys on here? I have seen them being used on top of the skin without any powder and they seem to work really beautiful. They blend easily. I've heard these are very pigmented so I'm a little bit nervous. I have nothing on but just my my BB cream. I use the It Cosmetics CC. I powdered my face. I have my concealer on. I have my brows on and eye primer. That's basically what I have on my face. I picked three different shades of all the cream products that I did purchase and I think we're going to use Bon Bon as our cream bronzer today. This seems to be what will work for me right now. So I'm just going to use a clean synthetic brush. I'm going to first try it out just using my finger, dabbing it on and then blending it out. And then the other side, I'm going to use the brush to see if that works. So here's what this one looks like. And I've heard these are pigmented. So, oh, these feel like, like the Merit ones that melt in your finger. Okay. So let's see. Oh, I thought this color was going to be a little bit too dark for me, but no. Let's blend this out with my finger and see how far we can go. Uh, it's, it's warm. In person, it doesn't look so bad. Oh, but it sets quick, you guys. Like, this is a cream to powder. What? Like, I don't feel that. Oh, goodness. I don't know. I think I might like the brush better just because if it's cream to powder, it gives me a little bit more blendability than with my finger. Let's try with a sponge. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna dip this in here. We're gonna try it this way here. And just blend it out. I'm trying to keep it high so I don't have a bronzer. Oh, it's a little bit more pigmented on this side than this side. Yeah. So with the brush, it's definitely a little bit more pigmented. Okay, so let's make it even. Oh, I like that. I really did think that this was going to be a little bit too dark for me. And it's not. It's not. I like it. I like. I like. Okay. Sydney Grace for the win again. Like, seriously. You guys know my obsession with this brand already. What? I like. Okay, I gotta stop, right? <laughs> At some point, I gotta stop. Let's bring it up on the temples like I typically would my bronzer. And a little bit goes a long way, you guys. This is gonna last you. Now, keep in mind, this comes with five grams of product, but it's really only this portion right here. Like, all this is glass. See that? So it's only that much, but look how much. I barely, it looks like I barely did anything. So this is gonna last you quite a bit. And if it's a cream to powder, I am sold. Sold already because you guys know my oily skin. So we're gonna test this out today. Let's see how it really works. You could see, I, I can see it through the viewfinder that you can see it, but in person it's so natural. Really like it. All right, so I'm gonna do highlighter next. I chose the color Head and Clouds. I didn't get any gold kind of highlighter and I'm trying not to purchase specifically cream products 
So I did, I'm not gonna purchase a gold version of it. So I'm gonna use what I got and this is the pink version. I am, now I'm a little bit nervous because now that I know that this dries quickly, I'm gonna use my sponge to blend it out. So, oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah. So we're gonna bring this up on the high point and then blend it out. Oh Lord, don't do that you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to use this brush. Wow, I put too much on, that's my fault. Oh my gosh, all right, let's try this side. This is why I put highlighter on first so then the blush can kind of help it. Okay. I don't like to bring my highlighter too close to my cheeks. And this one I feel like is a little bit more moussey. Like the highlighter felt definitely a lot more moussey than the, and you could see, I'm gonna show you. See how that looks like it's disturbed? So it's a little bit more creamier than the, than the bronzer. Hmm. At least I felt that way. I could be wrong. It could just been a pressure thing, how hard I hit it. Okay, what do you guys think? I could see it, I could see it. Now for blush, this blush is awesome. This one is called my Better Half and all these have five grams of product. Look how pretty that is. I didn't get a peachy color. Shockingly, I didn't get a peachy cream blush. I got more pinky colors and this is the lightest version I got. I got a deeper red and then a burgundy color, which I personally wouldn't choose for myself. None of these three shades I would have chosen for myself, but it just works out in my benefit because that means I don't, I don't feel like I should declutter it because it looks like other shades that I have already. So I just wiped off the brush so I can have it clean. And we're gonna use this with, oh my goodness, look at that. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful. I knew I was gonna like this one. Look, of course you gotta work quick because I feel like this is cream to powder. Wow. And I'm barely pressing down on this blush. What in the world? I really like this blush. Have I been converted converted to cream and liquid blushes? I don't know. <gasps> because I'm really liking it. I've been using a lot of cream and liquid product. Look at my cheeks. Wow. I like it. I need a little bit more blush on this side. I personally have always done the high point, like the blushes up here, just because of my face shape. I don't have big cheeks, so I never bring it down here. It just looks weird on me. So that whole trend, I've been doing it my whole life. I do not do the apples of my cheeks ever. I tried it like twice and I didn't like how it looked. So I've always done my blush like this. Oh, I love it. I love it, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I love how my cheeks look. Love this. Yeah, it has a glow to it, but it's not a lot. So again, the bronzer was Bon Bon, and you guys saw that it looked dark in the pan, but it wasn't so bad, but it is warm tone. Highlighter is Head in the Clouds, which is like this frosty pink shade. I have an even lighter version and a deeper version that's like a shifting shade, but I chose this one. And then my better half, I love this blush. Love it, I wouldn't have chosen these pinks. I don't gravitate towards pinks, I gravitate toward peaches, so I'm happy that they sent the pinks because I would have never done that. I would have chosen peach. Okay guys, I forgot to do this in the beginning, so before we get to the eyes, my lips are a little bit parched. I did get the whole lip oil collection from Hard Candy. This was sent to me, no, I was not paid to talk about this. And I got all the shades in here. So they, these are what they, this is what they look like, obviously. I don't know, I have heard a few things about them where they're good, but they taste, their taste isn't that great. Let me grab this thing. Come on, now nails won't let me grab things. Okay, so these are called the Glostopia Lip Repair Oils. These have vitamin E, squalene, and jojoba oil. And they come in six different shades. So I'm actually going to try one of these. I actually wanna try this pink one. Just to see how bright the color. This one's called Deep Desire. So we're gonna put this on my lips while I'm doing my eyes to see how it works. If I can open these up with nails now. Okay, so this is what it looks like if you have not Seen them? Ooh. Okay, first time trying. 
They're not as stringy as the NYX ones. The NYX ones feel a little bit thicker. Same doe foot applicator as the NYX lip oils. They do have a sweet medicine kind of scent. Reminds me of like the kid's cough syrup or something. Like that sweet scent. Let's see. Oh. These definitely feel like an oil, not like a lip gloss. They're a lot thinner than the NYX. And they do feel moisturizing. My lips, due to the um, tritonoid, I feel like my lips have gotten so much drier lately. And I'd rather it be my lips than my skin peeling, to be honest with you. Um, and this is that dark pink one, look. Now my lips do have some sort of pigment to them, but even this color doesn't really show super pinky. Ooh, I dig it. All right, I'm gonna leave this on my lips. Wow, it does feel like an oil on my lips. I'm scared to taste it though, because I have heard that the taste's not so great. I'll, I'll lick it at the end. I tend not to get my lip products in my mouth on purpose. Like that's just the habit I've had always, so. I'm not gonna lick it yet. I'm not gonna lick it yet. Okay, so let's get into the eyes, you guys, so we could try our new brushes. We're gonna try our new brushes. And I purchased this myself. This is the new Natasha Denona Mini Starlet Palette. Mm. You guys, you know my love for Natasha Denona. I love the, her products, and I feel like they have a good price range for different people, so you can reach different people. Unlike Pat McGrath, I feel like she's always expensive and doesn't matter unless you get a sale. So I went with this and this is beautiful, you guys. This is like a cool tone, beautiful. And what won me was the swatches. I just, ooh, it's just so pretty. I can't wait. And it match, it kind of goes with like what I wore today. So we're gonna try this out and see if we're gonna tr uh, work out with it. All right, so the first shade I wanna try is this one right here. It's called Nude Mauve. And we're gonna use the Gain Beauty E06 brush, which is like a fluffy brush. We're gonna put this in a crease. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's pigmented. Yep. Oh, I like that. Get it, girl. Get it. Ooh. See, this is the kind of coolness that I love. Like, I don't mind cool tones, but when you get to cool tones that are like gray, black, blue, not really, not my jam, but these cool tones are gorgeous. Yes, with a little hint of warmth to them still. This is what I love, because I don't mind this at all. Like I, I I, love cool and warm tones, but I just can't go too far on each. There's there's a limit. There's a limit for me. Oh, yes. I love this. Can you tell, you can see that. Yes, you can. What? Okay. Let's do, oh, I really wanna do this sparkly shade, but I'm sure everyone and their mom's doing the sparkly shade. All right, let's, I always say two and then I don't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with this one first, which is called Rhea, I believe, Rhea. We're gonna put this, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. We're gonna put this on the outer version of it. Oh yeah, that is very pigmented. Look at that, one swipe in the actual shadow gave me enough for both of my eyes. And then we're gonna go in with Galaxia, which is this one right here. The one that everyone's gonna use, I'm sure. Oh, that is pretty. I'll put this all over and on top of that. Oh, singing angels. Yep, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I love it. Yes. She is a winner in my book, you guys. I would tell you guys, and I don't buy every single one of these sizes. Like I don't buy, I don't have every Natasha Denona palette. I make that clear. I know it seems like I do, but I don't because certain ones I'm not gonna use. Like I didn't buy the pastel mini. I didn't buy the Zen, the black and white and gray mini. I didn't buy that one. Like there's quite a few I didn't buy of the midi, this one, the large, just not interested in it. But this one, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. And these brushes worked so well for this. I only used one brush, like I said, but yeah, really like it. This one's gonna be my favorite. I'm telling you right now, the E07, yeah. Guys, this one's gonna be awesome for a lot of people. Love that one. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm just gonna put on my mascara and then um, 
yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this lip oil and I really like it. I, I just opened up a new tube of mascara, so it's not the best right now, but yeah. This is the final look. Um, let me lick this thing. I don't know, somebody said it tasted nasty, but it doesn't taste nasty to me. Actually tastes good, I don't know. It doesn't taste like anything to me. Mm -mm. And I do like it, look. It really does moisturize. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Okay, so let me wrap everything up so we can uh, get to it. So the nails, obviously I already spoke to you guys about that. Thank you very much for Vanity Bay to send these over to me. I am gonna use the other um, the other styles that I do have. So then that way I can let you guys know about these. Like I love these for the fall, that chocolate color. Mm, really like it. Uh, the brushes, I am already a big fan of Game Beauty. Not because they send me things. You guys know I'm very blunt and honest with a lot of things and I'm try I try to be kind about it. I always love their brushes. Their brushes are ones that I reach for constantly. If you see the first set of brushes that I have, they're looking a little janky because I use them all the time. Love them. And I'm happy that they expanded their range because I, I think they're well worth it. I love the whole ergonomic thing that they have going and they're purple, which stands out in my makeup uh, brush collection that I do have. Really, really do like it. As far as Sydney Grace. <laughs> Sydney Grace, you guys, oh my gosh. Seriously, anything and everything they do, they do with such amazing quality, price range, just the best. So far, this Christmas in July, from what I've seen, has been their best sale ever. And this, to send out new products in their mystery bags, like, who does that? Who do, and at the price that they gave it to you, oh my gosh, you guys, they did such a phenomenal job. These, I am such a fan. Such a fan. Coming from somebody who does not buy a lot of cream products i have inherited a ton of cream products this year for my birthday from friends from christmas uh my and then now from mystery bags i didn't specifically choose these colors out for myself but i love them i'm, I'm just a fan i love that they're cream to powder that to me is a winner so now i know i can open up the other ones because i was afraid they were going to be too emollient for me and oily but no, I'm touching my face and it's dry. And this is over powder, you guys. I've already powdered my face and they work. That to me is a winner because that's how I use my cream products when I want to use cream products. To show, it's on top of my powder. So yes, if you're interested in these, these are definitely a winner in my book. The Natasha Denona palette, I love it. You guys, there's nothing wrong with it. The quality is exactly the same as everything else. If you're into cool tones with a hint of warm, this is your girl. This is your girl. Like this to me, again, this embodies for me feminism, cute, delicate. Like I see that like a beautiful, delicate flower. I don't know. These colors just, it reminds me of like that Victorian era with those muted purples and that beautiful peachiness. Like that's what it reminds me of like the old, olden days, the 1800s, but it's just like in a Beautiful way, really, really like it. And of course, these just being on my lips right now, and the fact that even they have the darker shades, it really doesn't matter what shade you get it looks like, because it's just going to be a lip oil. Because I wore the darkest one right here. Let's take them out. I wore the darkest uh, pink that they have, and it doesn't really show my lips. It really doesn't, so it doesn't matter what shade you get, it's gonna be just a tinge of it unless you layer it and on, layer it on. So it doesn't matter, you guys. And I could definitely feel that it's a lip oil. These are more of a lip oil than the NYX fat lip oils. If you've tried those, these are definitely thinner consistency, more of a moisturization. Yeah, definitely. And it has a beautiful gloss to it. I like these. And I didn't taste anything. And the smell did not linger. So that medicine sweetness that I'm telling you guys about didn't linger. So I, I really like these. So thank you to all the brands that sent me everything. I appreciate it, you guys. If that's all that you're here for, thank you very much. I just wanted to quickly update you guys on Leo because it's fresh in my mind. I just want to get it out the way before I ball my eyes out. And I don't want to do that. So for those have that have been following me on Instagram or on my social medias where I have posted on it, Leo's condition is not doing well, but um, he's a fighter. Well, this is proof that the concealer and the BB cream and powder work well after crying. Okay, 
I'm gonna gather myself before I continue. So due to Leo's age, he's a very young dog. I feel like that's why he's hanging on because he still has that youthfulness in him. He's not an old dog. I think if he was in an older dog, he would have already passed by now, but because he's young, he still has that oomph left in him. So we do have a vet appointment coming up. It may not go well. From what I have read and from his symptoms, I know it's coming to an end. There is no cure. It's just, we're just trying to make him as comfortable as possible. And let me tell you, he is a fighter. He still gets up, he still eats, and this is what's giving us hope that he's gonna hang on for a little bit longer because he's still eating, he's still drinking his water, he still gets up and searches for us. So, we have hope that at least he might get close to seeing his third birthday, but we can't guarantee it. I don't want to choose um, to put him down if I know he still has energy in him. This is not a painful disease. Or condition for him and trust me like this dog has never been home by himself for a long period of time I think the most he's ever been home alone is like six hours and that's because we're going to a soccer game for one of my kids <clears throat> but he's always been with someone he's never been a dog where we're always out and he's home alone most of the time no he's always had someone if I'm not at work then I'm home with him and then Mr. Man is home. Like we take turns, whoever's home, oh, there's always an adult home, that's that's what I'm getting at. So he's never been alone. So I think that's what's helping him out too is the fact that we're always home with him. So he has people to rely on, to help him, to constantly see his symptoms. Um, Cause I think that if Mr. Man and I worked outside of the house and we weren't home all the time and the kids were being camp or something, I think he would have suffered harder because somebody wasn't always home to cater to him. So he's always home with someone. So we're always monitoring him. We're always making sure he's safe and okay and comfortable. And if he needs to go outside because the meds have him use the bathroom more often to drain everything out. So we're always home with him. It's, it's never a, um, you know, oh, now we gotta find somebody now. And we even canceled our family vacation this month to stay with him. So we're not even taking a, our second vacation. We did a staycation in July. We were gonna do a, an actual vacation. We bought tickets and everything. We have since canceled that to stay home with him. So that's the update on him. I'm sorry I cried. I try not to, I really did. I really try not to because I have given myself a lot of tension headaches. I've given myself a lot of migraines from constantly crying and I'm trying not to. Okay, that's all. All right guys. Everything you need to know will be linked down in the description box. Thank you guys, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Try not to. All right.